Hi there guys, it's Sam from Tantrum Kitesurf again. Today we're going to be talking about the one thing that I see people doing over and over and over again on the beach that you really shouldn't be doing before you go kitesurfing. Now I'm talking about stretching. Now for a lot of people this is going to come as a bit of a surprise because it's something that we're told since the age of zero that we should be doing. You know, before you go and do exercise, make sure you stretch. It means you won't get injured, means you won't get hurt, warms your muscles up and gets you ready to exercise. In a way it's true. The problem is the form of stretching that most of us do is something called static stretching where you put a muscle, put a muscle in place and hold the stretch, you know, something something like one of these. They're static stretches. You don't move the muscle. And this is what we've been told, you know, as a football player, that was what we used to do before we get the match. You know, we'd warm our quads up, warm our calves up, with all with static stretching. Now, the problem is, is that study after study after study has shown that static stretching actually reduces your performance in the exercise that you're gonna do afterwards. You know, one study showed that runners run 13 seconds slower after they've done static stretching before they go running. And study after study after study shown that any, you know, any activity, lifting, jumping, any of these kind of activities, static stretching reduces your ability to do it. And when you think about it, it's fairly obvious because what you're trying to do with a static stretch, you're trying to make the joint longer, more flexible, you know, making the muscle more stretchy. Hence the word stretching, you know. But what we actually need to do when we're kite surfing is we need explosive power. You know, when you try to do these jumps, when you try to do these moves, you need the muscles to do the opposite of what we're asking them to do when you stretch. So it stands to reason that static stretching isn't necessarily going to be the best thing for you. Even worse, it doesn't actually reduce your risk of injury. Now, when I first heard that, it blew my mind. What in this stuff that we've been told to do since the age of zero for this one purpose that I've been forced to endure for all these goddamn years doesn't actually do what it's supposed to do. And well, how can that be? Well, if your body's already a bit messed up, you know, and let's face it, by the time you reach past 20, 25, whose isn't, let's face it, you know, um, stretching can actually cause more problems. You know, the first one, hypermobility. While this looks cool at parties when you can bend joints, you know, in all sorts of weird and wonderful directions, it's not actually good for the muscle, not actually good for the joint, because when you go past that, what is considered normal strength, normal range of motion, the joint becomes very, very weak and is very, very prone to injury. And static stretching can um, induce hypermobility in joints that normally wouldn't have it. You know, if you're stretching the same joint over and over again, this is what we tend to do with static stretching, is we tend to have our repertoire of stretches that we do, and we stick to the same stretches every single time we go kite surfing or we go and exercise. So those joints get really mobile, whereas the other joints that we're not working on, and the muscles that we're not working on, don't get so mobile. And I always think of this, you know, think of a bicycle tire that has bumps at some parts and dents, sort of dents in the, in the rim at others. So it's not even a circle anymore, some kind of weird oval bumpy shape. And then imagine trying to ride a bike on that. Well, that's exactly what you're doing to your body when you're hypermobilizing some joints and then obviously others are gonna be in tension. So your body's not in balance and that can very much lead to injury. Another drawback is when we kite surf or exercise regularly, your muscles become cross-knitted. And we've all felt this when you get one of these big knots in your muscle. And these are what's called adhesions. And if you think about it, really easy way of thinking about it, think of a piece of rope with a knot in the middle. That knot is the adhesion in your muscle. You pull the rope at both ends and what happens? That knot gets tighter and tighter and more and more difficult to undo. And this is exactly what static stretching is doing to these muscles with adhesions. If you don't have any adhesions, great, okay. But to be honest, I don't know of anyone really above kind of, well, probably even going down as young as 15, you know, who plays any kind of sport who doesn't have adhesions. They're just a part of life if you exercise. So what can we do? Well, the, the, as I say, static stretching isn't the answer because it just pulls that knot tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter, which can lead down the line, which means that adhesion gets worse and worse and worse, creates more tension, which further weakens the muscle, which again makes you even more prone to injury. 
So does this mean there's nothing you can do? No, absolutely not. There are some really, really, really good techniques that you can do to reduce your chance of injury and actually increase your performance on the water by doing these exercises before you get out on the water. I will be going further into these techniques in our free live training later this week. There's a link, it will be appearing in one of the corners of the video right now, or it will be below this video or podcast, depending on where you're listening to this or watching this, uh, click that link, head over, register, and as I say, I'll be going through all this and a ton more stuff in that, co- in that live training then when we talk there. So I look forward to speaking to you on that one. Hope this video has been good. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. Click the bell and you'll get notified of when, of when I upload more content. Great to speak to you and I'll speak to you again soon, guys. Hopefully, see you on the water some point.